Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com. All right, let's go on and let's create an actual export presets. We're going to do the first one, which is going to be setting our preset for printing, print size images. So I'm going to hit Control Shift E to bring up my uh, export dialog box. That's Command Shift E on a Mac. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder first. So to do so, go to Add, and right here under Folder, you're going to choose New Folder. So we're going to call this LR4 A to Z folder. We're going to hit create and then we're going to create an LR4 print sized preset. So I'm going to hit create. Now let's start creating our preset. What we want to do is we want to export to the hard drive. We're going to choose a location. And last tutorial we actually already chose this location. It's going to be in our Lightroom A to Z catalog and under print sized, 01 print sized. So the easy way to do this is what I typically do so I don't have to do a lot of typing is I just select that catalog that I want to use. So I just select the folder that I want to use, which is actually this A to Z folder. So I want to use this A to Z folder, and I'm not going to put it inside a, uh, a subfolder. So I'm going to take this out and just say uh, select folder for the LR4 A to Z catalog. Now I want to put this inside of a subfolder, which is going to be 01 print sized. And what it's going to do is when we save that to the preset, well, you can change this folder to whatever you want, and it's always going to put it in the 01 print sized. And we talked about why, basically, the reason why we're creating these 00 originals and 00 catalog files is because I want those to be at the top. And with each different export version, we go to 01, 02, 03. So basically, the 01s through others are all of our kind of finished exports. So we're good with 01 print sized. I don't want to add it back to the catalog, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. If there's existing files, I want it to ask me what to do. I don't want it to replace or skip or do anything on its own. Next, we're going to go to File Renaming. I'm not going to have it rename the files because, again, we do our renaming inside the library module uh, when, as far as, as, as far as our workflow goes. With you guys, if you guys want to rename here, I'll let you guys make that call. But with us, we just skip this part. Next, we have file naming. I'm not going to do any renaming from here. Uh, again, reason why is because we do all of our renaming in our, light, uh, in our library workflow after we finish developing our images. We don't do it during import or during export. That's just a part of our workflow. But if you guys want to rename them, you guys can set up your preset however you like. I'm going to leave extensions as lowercase, and we're going to go on to the next setting. We, we're not exporting video. This isn't for video, so we can skip that. We're going to go to the file setting. Now I want this to be a JPEG because these are for print and most printers only want JPEG files. We're going to set the color space to sRGB and I'm not going to limit the file size because otherwise it's going to limit to 150K which is going to be a web sized image. So we're going to click off on that. All right, next thing we're going to image sizing. We're not going to resize this image because I want it to be just a print size image. I don't necessarily want to enlarge from here so I, I know I can probably print up to an 8x12 or you know 12x18 max without doing any additional enlargement. So I'm just going to click this resize to fit to, to uncheck that. Resolution, I want 300 pixels per inch. Some printers print at 240 dpi, some at 300. It's safer just to keep it at 300 unless you know exactly who you're printing with and what their settings are. So I just leave it at 300. All right, and then we're going to go to image, or we're going to close image sizing. We're going to go to output sharpening. I usually print on matte paper or sometimes glossy paper, so I'm going to set this to matte paper and the amount to low. It's just going to add a tiny bit of sharpening, not too much over what I already have, and so I'm just going to leave it there. Next thing, we're going to metadata. I want to remove all location info. I want to actually only include copyright information. And that's it. I don't want Costco or WHCC or whatever lab I'm printing through to have every single bit of my contact information just to pass around. So I'm going to keep copyright only and close up metadata. With the watermark, obviously these are print size images. I don't want to be watermarking my prints, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. And then in post-processing, I'm just going to have it show me in Explorer. All right, we've dialed in every single setting here. Now we need to save this to the preset. So what we're going to do is this LR4 print size preset. We're going to right click on it and we're going to say update with current settings. Now it just saved all of these settings that we did to that print size preset and now if I hit export it's going to export the file and then it's going to pull it up in Explorer and show it to me. So it put it in the Lightroom 4 ADZ catalog under print size and here is the finished uh, file. Well it's not finished because we didn't do anything to it but here is that print size file. Alright so let's go on to the next tutorial where we're going to show you guys how to do a web size preset.